Okay, let's consider question number 48. If the number of terms in the expansion of 1 minus 2 by x plus 4 by x square whole to the power n is 28, then the sum of the coefficients of all the terms in the expansion is. When I expand it, I can simply see the highest power for x will go in denominator as 2n. So, number of terms in this case will be obtained as 2n plus 1 that is odd, but it is given here it is 28. That means, this question has been framed by considering these three terms as the different ones like x plus y plus z raised to the power n. If I approach that way, I can read it as number of terms would be n plus 2 c 2 equals 28 or n plus 1 n plus 2 upon 2 equals 28. So, product of two numbers n plus 1 n plus 2 is 56 that is n comes 6 because 7 into 8 that gives you 56. So, n is 6. Now, the sum of coefficients that is simply substitute x equals 1 here. So, to find the result that is sum of coefficients that is 1 minus 2 plus 4 raised to the power 6 or 3 raised to the power 6 that is 729. So, we can see from the given options option number 3 is correct. Right, next one that is 49th. Consider f x equals tan inverse root 1 plus sin x upon 1 minus sin x, x is in the interval 0 to pi by 2. A normal to the y equals f x at x equals pi by 6 also passes through the point 4 options are given. So, first simplify this f x as tan inverse root 1 plus sin x upon 1 minus sin x. I can read this term as cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2 whole square upon cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2 whole square, right. So, we can see here the term changing to tan inverse cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2 upon cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2, right. Since x is lying in the interval 0 to pi by 2, so x by 2 is lying in the interval 0 to pi by 4. So, we can see cos x by 2 will be greater than sin x by 2. So, no need to write the modulus, simply cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2 is absolute quantity. So, root can be eliminated. Dividing by cos x by 2, we get 1 plus tan x by 2 upon 1 minus tan x by 2, that is tan inverse tan pi by 4 plus x by 2 or simply pi by 4 plus x by 2 for the given interval. Hence, on differentiating we can see it is constant that is half. So, about the normal that is minus 2 would be the slope. So, equation of normal we obtain as y minus y 1 the point x is given to me pi by 6 on substituting here x equals pi by 6 or simply here x equals pi by 6 we can see this becomes pi by 4 plus pi by 12 that is pi by 3. So, y minus pi by 3 equals minus 2 x minus pi by 6 or we obtain the equation of the normal as 2x plus y minus pi by 3 here and plus pi by 3 here to get 2 pi by 3, right. Now, from the options, if I put the first one, x as 0, y as 2 pi by 3, clearly the first one satisfies this equation. Therefore, option 1 is correct. So, this part is clear. Okay, let us go for the next one. Okay, let us talk about 50. 
for x from set of real numbers fx is modulus of log 2 minus sin x and gx is f of fx then which of the following is correct. So, let us start it. First of all when I find gx it is mod log 2 minus sin of mod because again x is there. So, fx will, would be substituted that is log 2 minus sin x. This is clear for x we write here again mod log x log 2 minus sin x. So, simplifying we can simply write it as log 2 minus sin of log 2 minus sin x because around 0 we can see log 2 is greater than sin x. So, on differentiating we get g dash x equals minus cos of log 2 minus sin x multiplied with minus cos x. On substituting x equals 0 we find here minus of minus becomes plus cos this becomes 0 log 2 right. So, from the given options we can see the option 1 is g dash 0 equals cos log 2. Therefore, option 1 is correct. So, this part is clear ok let us take the next question.